I am heartbroken. I ask myself over and over again, how could everything have gone so wrong, so quickly? A loving marriage of 41 years, a warm, comfortable home, health insurance, all of it, hits up in less than a week. Let my story serve as a cautionary tale. It began, innocently enough, with an unsolicited email. 25 January 2021 Hi, I look forward to a reply to my letter because I sincerely hope that you are interested in communicating with me. I want to continue our dialogue and wait for a letter from you. Natalia Of course, I paid no attention, thinking it must be some sort of spam. Two days later, another message arrived. 27 January 2021 How your day? All is good? All is successful? I hope that at you all turns out and at you good state of health. To me, it is very bad without your letter, and I hope that when you will have time, you will write to me. I shall wait. Natalia. Again, I ignored it, but slowly began to become intrigued. Who was this new pen pal who showed such concern for my success and the state of my health? Two days later, yet another message was waiting for me in my inbox. 29 January 2021 I always look forward to your letter and I am sad that you did not write to me. Are you all right? I hope you find time to write to me very soon. Natalia I could now see that her concern was genuine, and she really cared for me. My heart began to flutter, but a different kind of flutter than my periodic atrial fibrillation, a type of irregular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Knowing even then it was madness, I hesitantly sent a reply. January 29th. 2021. So sorry I've been late to respond. I recently inherited a large amount of money and I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. I have no family left now and have been feeling very lonely. Perhaps you have some advice. Thank you for caring. Sent with all due respect from my iPhone. A response to my letter arrived the next day. I felt I had found a new soulmate. 30 January 2021 Friend, I'm glad you said. I was waiting for your answer. I did not know what and how, but I hoped and believed that you will answer. Why did you not say his name? You did not want what I would call you? How do I call you? The stranger? <laughs> I do not know where to start. I am 29 years old. I live in a small village. Sometimes go on business trips, but uh, mostly I live in my room. 
a small village, uh, Vorezemskaya, in the Aragengisk region. There are almost no one. Previously, there was a shelter for orphans. I was there, learned and grown. Then he studied at the nurse and then came back. Here is a small point of care. I help all teachers because apart from me, there is no one here. Only some old men and women. And the summer comes to them grandchildren. I am bored here. Here in the shop to put some sort of um, satellite dish and now have the internet. He is not fast, but I can see that one. I live one for a long time. I cannot meet its own dream. I or a business trip or here. And then some old on a business trip to work and treat people. Where are you from? What are you doing? How many years? Tell me about yourself. I would like to know you better. Maybe you're tired of my letters already. I'll wait for an answer tomorrow. Natalia. So many thoughts began to run through my head. Was I really being offered an opportunity to start a new and exciting life? Still, I hesitated. Two days later, another message. My Natalia was persistent. One February 2021. What today was day? Whew. I have woken up with good mood in the morning, have come for work, and there was not enough work. We about much have talked to girlfriends and colleagues. I do not know that happens, but work was not. And how at you? You likely are tired. I hope that at you all is good, and you can write to me soon and will inform that happens. I will wait for your letter in a current of hour. I shall wait, Natalia. Sweet joy. Her letter confirmed her feelings for me. Within a current of hour, I sent a reply sharing my feelings for her. But how would she react? Was I moving too fast? Would she even reply? The anticipation was unbearable. February 1, 2021. My darling, my heart fills with joy at each letter I receive from you. Since we are to be married, I will share my name. I am Martin McFly, but my dear friends call me Marty. You are a dear friend, no? My day was uneventful. I watched TV, ate cereal out of the box, and went to the bank to count my money. I will now share my photograph with you. I am a very young 78. Perhaps we will make love soon. Be best, Marty. Sent with all due respect from my iPhone. The next day she responded. Her letter was like a jolt of electricity to my loins, awakening a forgotten passion from its long hibernation. 2 February 2021. Your letter makes me smile. Marty, I am glad that you are responsible and do not forget about me. How do you like my photos? Like it? What? I would be happy to receive more of your photos and learn more about you. You seem like an interesting man. 
I hope that you satisfy my interest and I can recognize you more and more. What do you think? What will our friendship? I do not know. Let us chat and enjoy. You bring a new wave of my life. His fellowship. We have one of the village streets. Everyone knows each other. And it's very boring. But now I can communicate with you. I finished school, college. Now I work. I have in my life, oh, it's boring. I sometimes meet with friends. They ride to the big city to watch new movies. What did you watch last? I watched The Jungle. <laughs> This is a Russian comedy. Very interesting. You watch Russian movies? I would like to know more about you. What you think about us? What would you like to tell? I will wait for your answer tomorrow. I hope that my photos today you also like. Marty, do you wish that we could be in one place? and we had a group photo? I look forward to. Natalia. I spent the day reading and rereading her letter in a constant state of tumescent ecstasy. After severing all ties to my prior life, I replied immediately. February 2, 2021. Dearest, I am so glad my letter makes you smile. I do wish to be together. I think you would find it interesting to cuddle together after you brush my hair and rub my feet. Maybe you can wash my soiled clothes as well. Will you say yes and win my heart? I hope to send for you soon and bring you to California. Be best, Marty. Sent, with all due respect, from my iPhone. <sighs> Three days passed, and no reply. Frantically, I reached out to her again. February 5, 2021. My darling, it has been three days since I have last heard from you, and I am sick with worry. Please assure me you haven't lost a limb in a freak industrial accident. I know that our love for each other increases daily, like a fast-growing cancer. Having said that, please provide me with your banking information so I can immediately send you 15,000 US dollars for new clothes and a first-class plane ticket to meet me and be married in California. I have prepared a room for us in the basement of my mother's home. Our time together will be very happy. After bathing her, we will spend time with my two cats, Noodles and Mr. Piss Whiskers, and start our large family. Please try not to be overly concerned about my untreated syphilis. I promise to be quick each time we make love. I'm sending photos of my mamacita and my kitties. Please write soon. Be best, Marty. Sent with all due respect from my iPhone. Two weeks have gone by now. Nothing. Where are you, my love? Maybe you're tired of my letters already. Now, with a broken heart, I am doomed to wander this cruel, godforsaken planet, alone, with no place to lay my head. As I curse my fate, I call to the heavens, Natalia. 
Natalia. Natalia! 